Hey guys, today we are fulfilling 15 year old me's dream of filming one of these what's in my figure skating bag video. I remember watching so many of these videos back when I first started skating and I wanted to make one so bad but I felt like I wasn't enough of a figure skater to make one myself. Anyways, it's been a lot of years. Our self confidence is a lot higher now. Here is what's in my figure skating bag or suitcase I guess. I've always been a duffel bag girly until earlier this year and everyone has a suitcase and I was like I don't need one. I am good with my little duffel bag and then I saw this at Kmart and you'll see that it matches everything in here this light blue and so I just had to get it and now honestly I can't go back. I can't go back to using a bag. It's so easy. You throw everything in there. You don't have to carry anything. Your back doesn't hurt. You have to balance it. My zip was never closed in my duffel bag because I had so many things in it. This fits everything. Anyways, let's begin. I have this keychain. I'm pretty sure it used to have two skates on it, but one of them fell off and I don't even know when. And then I have this <laughs> creepy baby that this beanie keeps falling out of. There we go. This really weird ass baby that absolutely nobody likes except for me. Everyone's always like, why do you have that? That's creepy. I like it. Just a little baby with the sunnies. Anyways, if I, I feel bad. I just murdered this bear. Let's We'll put them up there. There we go. So if I open up my suitcase, I wanted to get one of those front opening suitcases so that I could open my bag without flipping everything open like this at the ring, but I couldn't find one in the color that I liked. It turns out to not really be that big of a deal though, because we have plenty of space at the ring. We put our skates on outside anyways, so I can kind of just lay everything out. So if I open up my suitcase, on one side I've got my skates obviously i have the ice flies with coronation ace blades and this soaker i actually made myself it's like really big and fluffy as you can tell it's got plush in it i found something similar on etsy for like 60 bucks and i said hell no nah. and i made one myself so we've got boots oh, and then i've got socks inside my boots. I wear ballet socks to skating. They're like tights material. They're like super thin. I don't know if you can see that. And these are the only socks that I wear when I skate. I can't wear normal socks. It's too thick. I've got my guards. These are the only things that don't match the color scheme except for like the blue, I guess. The purple is what's throwing it off. If I had two of these colors instead of the purple, that would work really well. It's still not the right blue though, like everything's kind of this nice baby blue and this is like a teal blue, but whatever. They're too expensive for me to replace at the moment and I have no reason to apart from aesthetics. But these are my guards. I have this light blue baby blue cloth for drying off my skates. A little bit of a color theme going on here. This is the ice blue baby theme that I've wanted since I first started skating, but I couldn't at the time because I wasn't paying for my skating stuff myself. And now that I can, now that I can, everything, if possible, is baby blue. Can you tell what my favorite color is? I also have leg warmers in this compartment, even though I don't wear them anymore because it's now 35 degrees out. Obviously, it's cool at the rink, but it, there's no need for it anymore. In the winter, though, the rink gets super, super, super cold, and that's why they're still there. So that's everything in this bottom compartment. In the top compartment, this is my on ice bag. I never used to understand anyone that had an on ice bag because I was like, what are you bringing to the ice? But no, ever since I started running programs, I realized how convenient it was to have, well, I'll go through it, I'll go through it. So this is the bag. Obviously it matches the theme as well. Attached to the side here, I have my skate pass and this is the one that I swipe to get into the ring. I also have, <laughs> so at the moment we have to wear fluoro vests if we're running our programs, just so they know who is doing their program and everyone can move out of their way. It used to be this little wristband here and that's all you would have to wear. You can just like chuck this on your arm. But now they were like, no, 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 there's been too many incidences. Everyone has to look like a construction worker when you run your program because of course, why wouldn't you? But I didn't want to spend 10 bucks on a fluoro vest when I had one. But the one that I have is from my old work. <laughs> and because I quit my job. If you saw my last video, I quit my job. So I don't need this for work anymore. <laughs> so I just have this branded, I look like an alcoholic. <laughs> but this is the vest that I wear when I run my programs, which is really funny. I do borrow other people's if I can, because sometimes depending on who's in the session and I don't know the people there, it's, it's a little, I get a few looks. It's funny though, but I've got my vest in here. This is the little pouch that I opened earlier. 
And in here, I've got my wristband still, even though we don't use these anymore, it's still in here. I've got lip balm because my lips get so dry when I'm skating. An aux cord so I can play my music through the speakers for running my program. And a USB just for safekeeping. This is for competitions. You always have to have a USB backup of your music. And if I put it anywhere else other than my skating bag, I'm gonna lose it. So. <laughs> Everything goes in here and also in my on ice bag I have a pair of like regular gloves. These ones are grey. I also have black ones and two pairs of super thick fluffy gloves on the inside. It's like this material. Do you see this? It's so soft and it's so warm and completely unnecessary right now because it's December and it's hot but in the winter months they're so useful. It gets so cold. This is probably the rink that I skate at is probably the coldest rink I've ever been to. Yeah, like no lie, I think so. I don't know why it's so cold in there, but it is. And it's so bad during winter. But that's everything. Wait, is that everything I have? Oh, there's also this little back zip pocket. And as you can tell, I have bobby pins in here. I didn't even know I had bobby pins in here. There's, there's two. I'm sure I took it off one day and then just didn't know where to put it and chuck them in here. But that's everything that's in my on ice bag. And I just put this like on the barrier when I get on to skate. It's this and I'll be holding my water bottle, also blue. <laughs> this is what's also in my skate bag, but I don't really put it in my bag. I usually just hold on to this. Got a little hook. It broke. So I had the exact same bottle, but in green a while ago. And I put it on the barrier, but one of our barriers is like sloped like it's angled like this i put it there it fell and it cracked in this exact same way and then that bottle eventually fully broke and i bought this one and guess what i did guess what i did <laughs> i put on the barrier one day to put on my guards it broke in the literally the exact same way you would have thought i would have learned after the first time but apparently not we'll see if it happens a third time <laughs> But yeah, when I get on the ice, I'll usually be holding this, my bottle through my fingers, and I would have just taken my guards off. So I also hold onto my guards, and this is what I take onto the ice. And I chuck it on the barrier. And in this back bit, I also have a glasses case because I wear glasses, but I wear contacts when I skate. So if I have to take off my glasses, it's good to have a safe place to put them into. My old glasses, the clear ones, I'm not exactly sure that's how it broke, but this one time I did a spin, my glasses flew out of my face. Firstly, I can't find my glasses after they fly out of my face because I'm not wearing glasses and it's a white ice with these clear glasses on it. So I had to get someone to find it for me and I was so scared that it was gonna run over. But also, I was like, oh, like inspecting them. Oh, they look fine, they're fine. Two weeks later, like this bit of it has completely cracked and it's like broken, broken. And I'm still not 100% sure that it was from that spin, but I'm pretty sure there was a micro crack in there that I didn't realize and it got worse over the weeks. So never skating with my glasses again. These are too expensive. My prescription is way too high for me to be fucking around like that. But the other things I have in here is this little bag. Obviously it's blue. And in here I have a bunch of hand warmers because again, winter months, it got so cold. We're fine now, but Oh, July, August, I was freezing, freezing. Like even in the morning when I was driving up, because I used to drive an hour to skate, in the car I would need one of these. I have this hairbrush, it like opens with a mirror. I don't really use this unless it's for emergencies. I kind of forget that it's in here, but very useful for when I need it. My hair is like short now though. I don't really need to brush it much. I also have this mirror just as a mirror I don't know why, I just do. And spare contacts, very important. Can't skate without these now. And I have a carabiner. It's like in an S shape. And I've got hair ties on one side of it and one hair tie with a bunch of bobby pins like hooked to it. Can you see that on the other side? Very useful, very, very useful. I also have a spare skate pass card i kind of i don't know why but i got two i don't think there's any money on here but it's just a spare and i just hold on to it i have some band-aids because sometimes i cut myself and sometimes other people cut themselves and it's good to have this tampons because you gotta do what you gotta do i've also got two panadols in here i actually forgot this was here when does it expire it doesn't even say oh shit i think one time i was sick and i went skating i brought it just in case and then i didn't take it so it's just been in my bag ever since i literally don't know how long it's been in there and the only other thing i have is this hand sanitizer 
Michelle got me this recently and it's got little skates on it. I think it's so cute. It's so fitting for my bag. It's got little blue dots in it as well. Very cute, very on theme. And that's everything I have in this bag. It's kind of just chills in my suitcase and it just has stuff that I might need in case. And the only other thing I have in this compartment are two <laughs> oat bars. They're like apple oat bars. And I'm not gonna lie, they're actually really good. It's good to have something to chew on. And now the last part of my bag is this little bit here. Because you can see it's just a bunch of fabrics. I have, I actually don't even know. Oh, I have a head warmer. This was again, another winter thing. That's why it's in this compartment because I don't really use this all the time. Pretty sure, yeah, I have a white one as well. So I have a black and white headband. <laughs> it looks so dumb. And extra socks. These are the same kind of, oh my gosh, my hair. These are the same kind of ballet socks that I just showed you, but these are like fresh ones. I have a key card to get into one of my other workplaces. So I do this ice skating show down on the Gold Coast with Paradise Resort. There's only seven shows left. You can get your tickets down below actually, little, little promo there but this is just the staff card to get into the back door. So I don't get stranded calling people like, hey, can someone go, come get me. I have this, I didn't even realize this was in here, but I have this little Ziploc bag and this little hair ribbon, which I can't really use anymore because it's way longer than my hair length, but it matches my skating dress. This is for competition. I think I just left it in my bag and forgot it existed. And I have my competition gloves, which I don't wear every time either. I don't know, I kind of just got used to skating without gloves recently but there are these nude ones with diamantes on the back of them so that I can wear it with my dress. And I used to not be able to skate at all without gloves just because I got so used to it. So these came in really handy just for the, it wasn't even for the warmth, it was for like the mental, just because I was so used to it, I couldn't do anything when I didn't have gloves on. But now I got over that. So I haven't been wearing these as much. That's probably why I forgot they were in here. And I have, Oh, we got this for club championships. So for one of the competitions, we got this little pouch. All there is in it is like some more band-aids and this little sewing kit. I don't want to lose anything in here. Ta-da! It has come in handy and I kind of just threw it in my skate bag after I got it because I was like, oh, you know, you never know, emergencies. And that's the good thing about having a suitcase because you can just throw things in there and it doesn't matter how heavy it is. And the last thing that I have in this bag is just another pair of gloves, but these are the ones in black that I just mentioned. And I think that's it. It really is not that complicated. I don't know, I feel like I don't have that many things compared to some other people, but this is what works for me. That's my suitcase. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. I don't know, I get so awkward doing this part, but I'm also only 20 subscribers away from 1,000 and it would actually make my year if I could get to 1,000 before the end of this year. It'd just be really exciting. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing and I will be back with another video very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hold me tight, 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 tight All the darkest secrets I